Shop. I'm Dave. In this one I've got a new toy that just arrived in the post office. Ordered from LMS and it's kind of nerve nervous because you never know what you're going to get when you order from them. I did leave them specific instructions in the order saying please inspect. I don't want blemishes or rust on anything. So let's open it up. See what we have. Two packages. Huh? I thought it could have won. They only charge 10 bucks for shipping. And with two packages, I think they pay a little bit more. Huh. The from label says to me, and the to label says to me. I guess they want to make sure it came to me. All right. One more. Let's see. Hold the breath. LMS catalog. Wow. Throw that away. ER32 chuck set. They're all well wrapped too and grease, so yeah, they should be fine. Nice. This will all be for the mini aid. Where's this guy? There it is, yeah. There's the chuck. Call it chuck for the mini lathe. And it looks perfect. Hallelujah. Oh, that's going to be greasy and we'll get out. Well, I'll get some paper towels over here. Because this way, I'm kind of tired. I mean, there's not that much run out on the three jaw, four inch three jaw. But with this, I should have zero run out. Because there's a lot of times that I want to take something out of the chuck, do something to it, and then put it back and be right back where I'm at. And I guess I could use the four jaw. But, oh man, this thing looks sweet. Oh, out of there. I'm gonna grab it. Huh. All right, gotta cut it open more. Yeah. Stab, cut. Why is it plastic that comes from China? It's harder than the American plastic. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna get grease on myself. Wow, that is beautiful looking. Look at the finish on that. See if I can get it over here. Oop, it up a little bit. That is really nice quality. That is perfect. Oh, this is going to be sweet. And I should have the wrench in the middle. That fits it, right? Perfect. It'll work. So I've got the wrench. I didn't have to buy another junky wrench. I already got one <laughs> from China. All right, so this guy, uh, I'm sitting on there, so I didn't get that crazy. Now, what is this thing? Oh, <laughs> garage door opener has a battery backup. This and it, the battery died, so this is the replacement battery for it. Does that thing come at the same time? when the battery goes bad, the garage door opener up there starts beeping. I'm sitting in here working and I'm hearing this beeping going, what is beeping? High frequency too, so it's hard to find. Yep, there it is. Ooh, I package everything well. Throw that away, throw that away. One replacement battery. Nice. Alright, so I'll get that in the garage door opener, but this is just nice. I'm going to put it on the bag. So what sizes did I get? There was, it was pretty, kind of inexpensive. I think this whole thing was about $150 to $180 for it. 
That's gonna take a while. All right, let me open them up. All right, I bring you guys over here so you can kind of see a little bit better. This this is actually I couldn't ask for anything nicer. This is just incredible the machining on these. This didn't have any grease on it. It was just some hard plastic. I mean, vacuum sucked on them. So I've got what three quarter, five eighths, half inch quarter, and one eighth. I'll probably never use the one eighth, but wow. The only thing that got these are smooth. Oh, they're outside the three eighths. I was testing it in here. Wow. It's got grease in there. I gotta get that out. Of that. So this should be really cool on the way. It's also going to give me more distance because the measurements, I'm going to get two more inches out of the bed. But the clamping nut, I don't know if you can see down in there, something's off center. I have no idea if it's supposed to be like that. Where is it? Or not. See it? So if somebody has one of these or somebody knows, is that supposed to be off center? The threading on this thing, too. This has got to be the smoothest threading I have ever felt. So, man, this is, I couldn't pray for anything better. All right, so I guess I'll next show you guys putting it on the mini leg. Be back. Well, I was cleaning it up, getting it ready to put it on, and screw won't go in that hole. So, we got to chase the thread somehow. What size is this guy? Uh, I think it's 5'8", right? No. 6'1"? No. Yeah, there it is. 6'1". Alright, so I need a 6'1 tap to go in there. Hey! Crunch. Break my knee. 6'1". Taps out here. 6'1". 6'1". There you are. Does it jam? All right, it's going in nicely. Get the old little miniature crescent wrench. A little tight. Well, it's going in easy now. Is it sure no, not through yet. Coming through. Yeah, there's junk all over it. It took something out. Yeah. The other ones, I don't know why one, just one hole. The other two, screw goes all the way in. Yuck. Yeah, it took something out. Alright, where's some air blown out? Yeah, I'm almost out of here. Got another can. Uh, yeah, the junk is coming out of it. Alright, where's the other can of air? I'm gonna move everything! <laughs> Air, 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 last can. Where'd it go? There it is. Last can of Costco air. Get rid of that. Ink. Got a new nozzle. That'll blow it out, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, not much more came out. But I believe the stud just goes right in now. I didn't expect studs with Allens on it. That is an Allen, right? Can't see it. Yeah, I think that's Allens. Yeah, it's going in now really easy. <laughs> Alright, well, let me get it on the lathe. Alright, bring you guys over here so you can watch me do it. Uh, this way. Ah. Hey, boy, this is big. Because, <clears throat> yeah, what? Ah, how much am I going to get? Can I 
sure here. All right, so this guy is from there to there. About to the center of this is just over three inches. And this guy's gonna give me, oh gee, yeah, look at that. Uh, I get about an inch and a half more. Somewhere's in there. <coughs> all right, these are always fun to do in this confined area. Confined area. There's one. Got it. Two. You turning? No. I'm loosening them enough. There. There we go. All right. There's two. Got it. And the last one. He's turning. And three. Chuck off of it. Put him over there. Put those there. All right. Did I run these? I cleaned it. Yeah. This is all cleaned up already. All right. Nothing on it. Nothing on it. Grease is off. No marks. No dust. Pah, look at that. Fits right on there. Doesn't feel like there's any play at all in it. Oh, to balance this guy. You'll notice it's got oddball hole patterns. I had to machine um, little steel plugs that go in there. All right, well, let me get three nuts over here. Three new nuts. There they are. Did I run these studs in far enough? Too far. This guy comes out more. Oh, there's the phone. More crisis. Where's it from? Telemarketer. I hate that. New York. Alright, so there's. Yeah, backing out a little bit further. That's plenty, that's plenty. He's in too far. Alright, now the fun part try to get the nut on there. Yeesh. I hate this part. Get it in there and spin, spin, spin. Watch when these nuts is defective or something. <laughs> and I gotta take the whole thing off. Chase the nuts, threads. There's two. Well, this is easier than I thought. The chuck is, I guess because the chuck is heavier, it's harder to hold. Alright, don't cross thread it, Dave. Come on, get on there. This one doesn't want to go on. Put it on a different one. Come on. There, got it on that one. Come back to this guy. That might have been kind of a defective nut, I don't know. Jeez and Peach, Dave. You can do it, Mr. Wizard. This just does not want to go on. All right, I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, don't know what that was about. Turn the camcorder back on to start taping, and it says reinsert the memory card. Like, what? <laughs> so, pulled the card out and transferred it to the laptop before I lost anything. And then it says it's recovering data when I plugged it back in. All right, fine. All right, I had to take the studs out and I turn them around so the Allen part's here. Because the studs kept going in as I tightened it. Alright, let's get this guy on here. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. So there it is. Put this stuff away. Alright, let's get some stuff in there. What do I want to do? Half inch. Let's grab a piece of half inch. And the half inch collar is right here. Half inch collet, the nut, does it work? Got to get this out of the way, doesn't fit, great, why doesn't it fit? This is a half inch piece of aluminum, caliper, zero. 
doing that again. Ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> two and a half. All right, now I'm reading it. This is point four nine eight. Four nine seven and a half. There's no burr on it. Yeah, there is a burr on both ends. That's why. All right, take the burr off. Just kind of rub it on the grinding. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. There's a file. Ah. Need to buy burrless stock. There. Burr is gone. Go in. That is freaking tight. Alright. It's going to be a trick to this, right? Are you going to go on there? Now it goes on there. Alright, so I guess you slide it on first or something. I don't know. Alright, stick it in there now. Goes all the way through to the other end. You can tell I'm anxious here. Wow, you're not, you can hand tighten that thing. I need a wrench. Alright, is it straight? It looks like it. Get a dial indicator. Oh, I don't need a dial indicator, I can tell. By just putting a tool in there to see how it cuts it. There's no guarantee that this stuff is round. Lock it down. Moment of truth is it going to. Make the mark completely around. You barely touch this guy. And then slowly, it is. Look at that. That line is completely around it. Zero run out, folks. All right, the new toy. I think that's well worth the money because it's going to give me a lot more distance between centers. Put the tail stock on there. Well, this is a larger chuck, but so get a measuring tape. This is my 5 8 chuck. Run that guy in, and I've got six inches from the chuck to the face. So that used to be a lot shorter. That is nice. What kind of finish am I gonna get? Oh, get rid of the tail stock. Should get one gorgeous finish. Yep, look at that. Like a mirror. Zoom in. I'm gonna angle it and get you guys in further. Whoop, wrong way, Dave. In, in. You can see that, but that is just beautiful. Let me tilt the camera and get it over there. Whoop, wrong way again. Oh, it's starting to... <laughs> How am I having so many problems? There. You can kind of see the finish. That is gorgeous. And this is the new TCMT inserts that I bought with chip breaker on it. And um, the 3 8 set that I showed. I am very, very happy, and this is going to be fun. All right, well, I hope you like this episode. So I had to take the camera off the tripod so you guys can see this. This thing is just freaking gorgeous. Well done, LMS. Thank you. Wow. Great.